أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Lo, we have given thee, O Muhammad, a signal victory that Allah may forgive thee of thy sin, that which is past and that which is to come, and may perfect his favor unto thee, and may guide thee on a right path, and that Allah may help thee with strong help. He it is who sent down peace of reassurance into the hearts of the believers that they might add faith unto their faith. Allah's are the hosts of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is ever knower, wise. That He may bring the believing men and the believing women into gardens underneath which rivers flow, wherein they will abide, and may remit from them their evil deeds. That in the sight of Allah is the supreme triumph. And may punish the hypocritical men and the hypocritical women and the idolatrous men and the idolatrous women who think an evil thought concerning Allah. For them is the evil turn of fortune and Allah is wroth against them and hath cursed them and hath made ready for them hell a hapless journey's end. Allah's are the hosts of the heavens and the earth, and Allah is ever mighty, wise. Lo, we have sent thee, O Muhammad, as a witness and a bearer of good tidings and a warner, that ye mankind may believe in Allah and His Messenger, and may honor Him, and may revere Him, and may glorify Him at early dawn and at the close of day. Lo, those who swear allegiance unto thee, Muhammad, swear allegiance only unto Allah. The hand of Allah is above their hands. So whosoever breaketh his oath, breaketh it only to his soul's hurt. While whosoever keepeth his covenant with Allah, on him will he bestow immense reward. Those of the wandering Arabs who were left behind will tell thee, our possessions and our households occupied us, so ask forgiveness for us. They speak with their tongues that which is not in their hearts. Say, who can avail you aught against Allah, if he intend you hurt or intend you profit? Nay, but Allah is ever aware of what ye do. Nay, but ye deemed that the messenger and the believers would never return to their own folk, and that was made fair-seeming in your hearts, and ye did think an evil thought, and ye were worthless folk. And as for him who believeth not in Allah and his messenger, lo, we have prepared a flame for disbelievers. And Allah's is the sovereignty of the heavens and the earth. He forgiveth whom he will, and punisheth whom he will, and Allah is ever forgiving, merciful. Those who were left behind will say, When ye set forth to capture booty, let us go with you. They fain would change the verdict of Allah. Say unto them, O Muhammad, ye shall not go with us. Thus hath Allah said beforehand. Then they will say, Ye are envious of us? Nay, but they understand not, save a little. Say unto those of the wandering Arabs who were left behind, Ye will be called against a folk of mighty prowess, to fight them until they surrender. And if ye obey, Allah will give you a fair reward. But if ye turn away as ye did turn away before, He will punish you with a painful doom. There is no blame for the blind, nor is there blame for the lame, nor is there blame for the sick, that they go not forth to war. And whoso obeyeth Allah and his messenger, he will make him enter gardens underneath which rivers flow. And whoso turneth back, him will he punish with a painful doom. Allah was well pleased with the believers when they saw allegiance unto thee beneath the tree, and he knew what was in their hearts, and he sent down peace of reassurance on them, and hath rewarded them with a near victory. And much booty that they will capture, Allah is ever mighty, wise. Allah promiseth you much booty that ye will capture, and hath given you this in advance, and hath withheld men's hands from you, that it may be a token for the believers, and that he may guide you on a right path. 
and other gain which ye have not been able to achieve, Allah will compass it. Allah is able to do all things. And if those who disbelieve join battle with you, they will take to flight, and afterward they will find no protecting friend nor helper. It is the law of Allah which hath taken course aforetime. Thou wilt not find for the law of Allah aught of power to change. And he it is who hath withheld men's hands from you, and hath withheld your hands from them in the valley of Makkah, after he had made you victors over them. Allah is seer of what ye do. These it was who disbelieved and debarred you from the inviolable place of worship and debarred the offering from reaching its goal. And if it had not been for believing men and believing women whom ye know not, lest ye should tread them underfoot and thus incur guilt for them unknowingly, that Allah might bring into his mercy whom he will. If the believers and the disbelievers had been clearly separated, we verily had punished those of them who disbelieved with painful punishment. When those who disbelieve had set up in their hearts zealotry, the zealotry of the age of ignorance, then Allah sent down his peace of reassurance upon his messenger and upon the believers and imposed on them the word of self-restraint, for they were worthy of it and meet for it, and Allah is aware of all things. Allah hath fulfilled the vision for his messenger in very truth. Ye shall indeed enter the inviolable place of worship, if Allah will, secure, having your hair shaven and cut, not fearing. But he knoweth that which ye know not, and hath given you a near victory beforehand. He it is who hath sent his messenger with the guidance and the religion of truth, that he may cause it to prevail over all religion, and Allah sufficeth as a witness. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those with him are hard against the disbelievers, and merciful among themselves. Thou, O Muhammad, seest them bowing and falling prostrate in worship, seeking bounty from Allah and his acceptance. The mark of them is on their foreheads from traces of prostration. Such is their likeness in the Torah, and their likeness in the Gospel, like as sown corn that sendeth forth its shoot, and strengtheneth it, and riseth firm upon its stalk, delighting the sowers, that he may enrage the disbelievers with the sight of them. Allah hath promised unto such of them as believe and do good works, forgiveness and immense reward.